And good morning, I'm Kent Myers. Welcome to The Verdict. Uh, you uh, don't see Mick Cornett here, but he will be here next week, I promise. Uh, he will be back after uh, doing a lot of campaigning and uh, finishing his election process, and I'll be glad to have him back. Today we're going to be doing a show on the Women's Health Forum uh, sponsored by Integris Hospital and Integris Medical Center. Uh, that's a show that we've been doing uh, every, time, every chance we get. That's an annual uh, forum that Integris puts on and has uh, had ever-increasing numbers, ever-increasing interest, and the topics this year are just outstanding. It's about halfway finished. We're going to hear about the rest of it from Marianne Bowman, a frequent and welcome guest to The Verdict. So stick around. We'll be visiting with Marianne Bowman in just a second. You're watching The Verdict. At Chesapeake Energy, here's a few of our favorite hornets. Alexis likes reading. Sam enjoys history. Alec loves math. Chesapeake is proud to support both the Oklahoma City NBA Hornets and the Young Hornets at Horace Mann Elementary, where over 150 Chesapeake employees mentor to children each week. The students gain a lot from the experience, but not as much as we do. Chesapeake Energy, committed to building a better Oklahoma. You've got to check this out. What? What are we listening to? I had digital phone service installed today. It sounds just like before. I know, but it's going to save us a ton of money. With Cox Digital Telephone, you'll save big every month. Keep your same phone number and get your favorite calling features. Just pay less. That does sound good. You should hear the upstairs phone. I'm Chris Paul, and I'm Dave Lyell to some of our friends from the Boys and Girls Clubs in Oklahoma. Growing up is tough. Everyone needs a fun and safe place to learn and grow. Boys and Girls Clubs offer programs that instill a sense of pride, purpose, and belonging. Club kids have grown up to become movie stars and, yes, even basketball legends. We hope you'll join Cox, Oklahoma in supporting the Boys and Girls Clubs. Get involved with your local club today because it truly is... A place for kids! Welcome back to The Verdict. I'm Kent Myers, uh, sitting in for Mick Cornett, whom I promise you will be back next week. But we're very pleased today to have back a guest that has been with us a number of times, uh, Mary Ann Bowman, uh, Dr. Mary Ann Bowman. Uh, Mary Ann is the um, Medical Director for Women's Health and Community Relations at Integris Health. Uh, she is uh, the author of Fight Fatigue, Six Simple Steps to uh, Maintaining your Max, energy mm -hmm. and, and maximizing maximizing mm -hmm. as well and we've had a show on that yes and I trust your book is doing well by doing the way. well thank you and we are pleased to have her come back and talk to us uh, today about the women's health forum that's going on right now in Oklahoma City uh, so we welcome back uh, to the verdict of Marianne Bowman thank you always my pleasure to be here thank you for having me well I'm sorry Mick couldn't be here but uh, next time yes that'll be great uh, this is how many years for the Women's Health Forum? 20 years. 20 years? 20 years we've been doing Women's Health Forum at Integris. First it was Baptist Hospital, right. and now it's Integris Health. And we just ring the city. We're on the south side, the north side, out in Yukon. Everyone has an opportunity to participate. Kind of a, a, a simple question probably, but I think it's one that the viewers would like to know. Is why did you start it, or did Integris start it? Why do we have it? The mission of Integris is to improve the health in the communities we serve and education is a way to improve that health. We believe uh, that if people understand what they need to keep themselves healthy, if they understand some of the technology that is out there these days, then they'll be able to make better choices and healthier choices. Now this is called the Women's Health Forum, mm -hmm. uh, not a men's health forum. Well, I'll tell you, 
there are a lot of men who come to these. When we started, it was mainly the women who were the educators of the family and who were in charge of the health care. Now, uh, we find more and more men. I see this in my practice all the time. It used to be men only came in when they had a problem or if their wife told them they had to come in. <laughs> Now I have a lot more men who come in and say it's time for my physical examination. So we find uh, many men, and you know uh, from the uh, program description, some of these are, are really gender neutral. Men or women will benefit from this. So we're kind of pleased. And we also have Men's University that went on uh, on Saturday where men get health screenings too. So men are checking their cholesterol. They're looking for skin cancer. They're getting prostates checked so that we can get control their health and help them to be better as well. It seems like uh, every year you have uh, a big name or two, mm -hmm. uh, and this year is no exception. Uh, sure. Recently, uh, you had Julie Andrews in yes. town. Tell us about that. Oh, she was just wonderful. She filled the Civic Center. We had 3,000 people there. And oh, as gracious is as you would expect. Is that the biggest crowd that you've had for uh, a celebrity? We, yes, we have had that a couple of times before. Um, but yes, that is that is the biggest venue that we have for a speaker. And, and she just lived up to our expectations. She was so gracious, funny, very personable, answered questions. It was wonderful. What was the basic topic? What did she talk about? She talked about her life, her life in vaudeville as a child and then as a performer throughout the years. Just gave kind of a little bit of a smattering of what it's like to uh, be a performer all of her life since young childhood. She also talked a little bit about her growing up in wartime in, uh, in uh, England. And so it was just a very nice description of a beautiful life. Uh, she's had some medical problems herself, has she not, fairly recently? She has had some problems with her voice and she doesn't sing anymore. That's a, that is um, a disappointment to her and I think her speaking to groups like ours is part of her way of still being able to connect with a live audience, which she did for so much of her life and loves to do. Well, that's, that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, we're uh, broadcasting now on the 17th of uh, September, mm -hmm. and I know the forum's been going on for a little while. Uh, tell us uh, how it's been going, what has happened up to now. Yes, it's been very successful up to date. Uh, we've had presentations all week. We had a great presentation at Pacer, our fitness club, because you know me, I'm always trying to get people moving. <laughs> and we find that sometimes people are intimidated by health clubs. You know, you walk in there, you see all of this equipment. You don't know what to do, how to do it, how to even turn it on and it keeps people from going. So this year we set up a smattering of events at Pacer Fitness Center so people could come and get a sampling of what is spinning, what's the equipment like, what is so that, that hopefully they won't be so intimidated. Now Pacer is where? Pacer is over on the Integris campus and it's a wonderful, wonderful health club. And did you have a good participation? Very good participation. Men and women that. both on yes, that? Yes, men and women on that. We also had our No Boys Allowed. This is, this is where we do get a little <laughs> sexist on that. We have done this every year. We do it at Nona's downtown. We used to do it at Nona's when she was on the south side. And it's wonderful. In this particular uh, situation, we have three speakers. And the speakers speak for 10, 15 minutes. And then they move from room to room. We have the whole upper area of Nona. So they're smaller, more intimate rooms. And so the speakers just go from room to room. This event gets sold out just as the brochures hit in August. So we do have an encore performance. And I do want to mention that if you are interested in No Boys Allowed, um, anyone is interested, they can sign up for that by calling the Integris Health Line. You mean so during this current uh, two and a half week uh, span, uh, three and a half week mm -hmm. span, you're going to have another performance of that? What we're going to do is we're actually going to do it in October. Oh, it won't be part it of this. It won't be part of this. Yeah. We get so much demand that we're doing this uh, in October. We also had another session uh, this year called uh, Super Suppers. And this is where you've heard of these places where you can go and fix some meals for your family, where all the vegetables, all everything's there that you need. You fix it, you freeze it, so it's fresh, healthy food. Um, we've had a couple of those. We have one this coming week. We had one the last week. Those got filled up as well, so we'll have an encore with that too. So we try to find those areas that people have demand and have extra. Well, I know boys aren't allowed mm -hmm. at the uh, just at the one. At the one. <laughs> but can you tell us, boys and others and our our audience, uh, generally what the topics were. Yes, uh, on this particular one, uh, we had, uh, I, I discussed 
the advances in women's health through the years. We've also had a financial person discussing, you know, what women need to have in terms of their financial planning because we tend to take care of everyone else and forget about taking care of ourselves. So we have a number of different topics that uh, that the, the um, guests are able to hear. Now, what else have you been doing up to now? What other kinds of programs have you had? We've had a great program on sleep. Everybody sees all those commercials on television about the new this, the new that yes. for sleep. Seems everybody's having trouble with sleeping if you believe those commercials. But uh, we had a wonderful The Anatomy of Sleep done by Dr. Schwartz, one of our sleep specialists, to kind of explain why people can't sleep and what uh, they can do about it. We also had a wonderful program on heart um, by Dr. Terry Gibson, one of our cardiologists. And uh, Integris has just been uh, certified as a chest pain center, uh, which means that we get people from the ambulance or the emergency room into the cath lab quickly. And she discussed w when you need to get to the doctor or mm -hmm. the hospital with chest pain, because it's the number one killer of men and women. And the quicker you get there, the more chance you have of getting that blood supply back to the heart so you don't lose muscle. Let me focus on sleep just for a, a couple yes. of seconds because we're about to close this segment. Sure. But uh, is that a problem that's been growing or is that a problem that's been with us for a long time? I think two things. Number one, it has been there. I believe it's growing. I think in part many, many people do not practice good sleep hygiene. We want to caffeinate ourselves all day long. We want to run, 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 do things, and then we go to bed at night and we're supposed to turn it off and go to sleep. And so I think in, it's both. I think it's been there, but we didn't have a lot of choices of how to treat it. Now we can figure it out a little bit better. We have more choices, but it doesn't take away the need to do the lifestyle things to help you sleep. And I suppose some of the things you mentioned in your book would help on getting better yes, sleep. Yes, that's, that's absolutely one of the issues. Mind-body balance will help you to feel better when you're awake and sleep better. We need to get to a break. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. We'll be right back. Uh, we're uh, visiting with Marianne Bowman, Dr. Marianne Bowman, talking about the Women's Health Forum, the 20th year at Integris Health and uh, at the Integris Medical Center and around the city. Uh, you're watching The Verdict. We'll be right back. The Journal Record is pleased to be a sponsor of The Verdict. The Journal Record, since 1903, the best source of Oklahoma business news and legal information. We'll see Meyer Eatman Tate. We're accountants. We do taxes, business valuations, estate planning, and consulting. And we're right here in Oklahoma, working with the owners of small and medium-sized businesses. Steve Wilsey and Stuart Meyer have the resources and the experience. We'll see Meyer Eatman Tate in Oklahoma City and Tulsa. That land next door was a mess. Take more than a lawnmower to revive that land. I heard the oil and natural gas people was cleaning up old oil sites, and it wouldn't cost us a flood nickel. Oh yes, sir, it was quite a revival. The whole church showed up. Want to make a playground for the kids. <laughs> it sure is a blessing. <laughs> All children deserve a life of hope and love. But sometimes they experience a life of pain, neglect, and abuse. When that happens, each child deserves all the quality, assistance, and representation that can be offered in our legal system. For more information, call 23CHILD. Oklahoma Lawyers for Children, helping to bring hope and love back to the lives of abused children. It is due. There you go. Cox Communications está buscando empleados entusiásticos y motivados. Disfruta de nuestros beneficios, pago competitivo, grandes ventajas y oportunidades para el adelanto. Si desea hacer una diferencia, tenemos un lugar para usted aquí con Cox Communications. Visítanos en el internet o llame para ver qué oportunidades tenemos para usted aquí en Cox. Eres tú. Cox Communications está orgulloso de ofrecer igualdad de empleos. So, Mom, what if something happens? Should I stay where I am and wait for you or go to Grandma's house since it's closer? 
There's no reason not to have a plan in case of an emergency. Is there a place we all meet? And one extremely good reason why you should. What should I do? Talk to your family about what you would do in case of an emergency. For more information, visit www.ready.gov. This message brought to you by the Oklahoma Office of Homeland Security. Welcome back. Kent Myers and Dr. Marianne Bowman visiting about the 20th Annual Women's Health Forum sponsored by Integris, Oklahoma City. Uh, Marianne, uh, we're partway through the program now and you've got some more things coming up that our viewers that are watching uh, today could in fact uh, get to see. Tell mm -hmm. our viewers some of those things that are going on between now and the end of the forum. Uh, there's a lot going on and you can still sign up. I want everyone to know that. But we have a session starting tomorrow on how you take care of your loved ones, how you help. You know, this whole Medicare drug program has been so confusing, so we have someone who's going to explain that. We're talking about hospice, because so many people have parents who are elderly and they're having to make those kinds of decisions. We're excited that Jane Giroux will be here also on Monday. She is going to talk about Graceful Living. She's gonna talk about her new book. And uh, she, is just, she is just a delightful person, has her experiences from uh, being Miss America and also right on through being a mom and, and everything that she has done. So we're pretty excited about that. We also have... Uh, well, can I interrupt to sure. ask about that? Yes. Uh, you, you phrased that as taking care of your loved ones. Mm -hmm. So you're encouraging, I suspect, uh, people to come who may not be eligible for Medicare but have parents or relatives that are. Yes, and you can do either. Certainly this information for, uh, for uh, seniors is wonderful, whether you're taking care of someone or whether you want to know for yourself because they right. are going to try to, to sort that out. Uh, so I would encourage everyone to come to that program because it is confusing. I looked you know, with my patients and my parents at some of those Part Ds and it's hard to know which one to choose. And we will have a Medicare expert there to talk about it. So mm -hmm. that would be good for anyone. That You make a good point with that, that we want to make sure anyone who is questioning can come to see, hear that. Okay, and what else now? And then we also are talking, you know, we like to talk about some of the technology. And we're talking about radiation um, oncology. So that's the radiation therapy that you get when you have a cancer, especially with breast and prostate. There are new techniques where instead of getting the radiation to the whole area, they can put little implants in and just target where the cancer cells are so that the rest of the tissue is not involved. So we'll have some explanations of that. Is that being done? Yes, that is being in, done. In Oklahoma City? Yes, it is being <clears throat> done. And um, also, some of the new, what we call minimally invasive procedures for colon cancer, instead of having to have a big incision like you used to have to have, which is a long recovery, they can go in through little holes and take out cancers, take out pieces of the colon, hook it back up together, do all of these kinds of things minimally invasively. We have a surgeon who's going to talk about that. We're going to talk about irritable bowel syndrome. I know talking about bowels may be a little, <laughs> but let's face it, it's a problem for lots of people. <laughs> We can um, do it. We can do it. On and this so, show, we can do it. That's right. And so talking about uh, those kinds of symptoms, many people get gas and bloating and discomfort. They have a meal and they have to run right to the bathroom and have a bowel movement. And we're going to talk about some of the new, first of all, some of the things we think may cause it and some of the treatments that are available. And some prevention. Right? And some prevention, yes, although sometimes we can't prevent as well as we can to take care of it when mm -hmm. the issue does occur. And again, I find in my patients, if they have that mind-body balance, they have less problems with these kinds of things. Um, we're talking about uh, stroke, because that's a big deal, and time lost is brain lost. That's the title. Dr. Charlie Morgan is talking about that. He's a neurologist, and how, how important it is to quickly get to the hospital if you have those kinds of symptoms, because that we have a much better chance of minimizing any damage. Um, also, we're talking about uh, rehab. Physical therapy, occupational therapy. Now, you know, I've been rehab a from all kinds of from things. all kinds of things, mm -hmm. and especially from stroke. Now, I've been a doc for almost 30 years now, and I've sent people to rehab multiple, multiple times. But until my dad had a stroke uh, two years ago, and I went through that process with him, I really did not understand just the wonderful, remarkable things those physical therapists, occupational therapists can do. So we're going to talk about that and talk about, uh, let them see some demonstration of some of the things and how people can go from, as my dad did, from a total paralysis on one side to back to perfectly normal. Uh, 
kind of interrupting a trend of thought there, but we'll probably get back to it uh, before we finish. But you mentioned early on in your remarks that you're having events all over the city, not yes. just at Integris out at the Northwest That's Expressway. right. That's right. We have had um, uh, some of our programs have been at All Souls Episcopal on the north side and at Baptist Hospital. Some of these for next week, Chartel Church of God on the south side and also at Southwest Hospital. We've also had programs at UConn. So we kind of ring the city to give people an opportunity to uh, not only pick the topic, but pick locations that work for them as well. Although I'd tell everybody it's worth it to go south or north, depending on where you are, to hear some of these, uh, uh, some of these speakers. Well, we're going to get in a few minutes, and I don't want to do it right now, mm -hmm. but we're going to tell them how to sign up yes. if they want to. But, but uh, online, they can get a brochure, can they not? Yes, absolutely. Can you go ahead and tell them about that? Yep. This is our beautiful brochure for this year. It's been, we've been very pleased with it. It has a description of everything and all of the speakers, and um, that is available online. So you can see exactly who's speaking, when, time, and what they're speaking about. So that is available for everyone. Oh, we've got the website pulled up now. Oh, good. So they can get it there. Yes, it is IntegrisOK.com, or you can register um, if you want to speak with a person, 951-2277. If you're out of town, 888-951-2277. Uh, what kind of feedback do you get each year? Uh, after the program's over, and what do you do with that feedback? We get we get great feedback. We have people fill out evaluations for all of the events, and we look at every single one. We look at the comments. We make changes with them. Um, we're having Mike Greenberg this year, uh, who's talking about um, why my wife thinks I'm an idiot, ESPN sportscaster. By the way, that will be for men and women, really enjoyable. And Well, and you didn't finish the title of his book. Uh, why my wife thinks I'm an idiot, colon, the life and times of a sportscaster dad. Now, That's I right. wanted to get one of those for Mick. Yes, we'll get one of those for okay. Mick. I think he will absolutely enjoy it. But we, part of the reason we have Mike Greenberg are some of the comments that we got that say, you know, we really like, uh, like when we have some programs that are interesting to the men, et cetera. So, so we follow, we take the feedback, we take it very, very seriously. Um, we take feedback about parking and food and all of those things to help us make our decisions. And are you planning already for next year's, for the 21st? We do start planning. Excuse me. That's all right. It's we do Mick calling. Yes. <laughs> we do start uh, planning. Usually we start in January. We gather our ideas over these next couple of months. Look what's in the news. Look, uh, look what we're seeing on television. Look what's hot and who is hot. And then we start planning in January. We ask all of our physicians for their input. What topics are their patients asking about? And that's how we put together the program. Just... Uh, do you have a thought yet about who your celebrity guest might be next no, year? No, we haven't. Well, we have thrown a few around, but I'm going to keep it under wraps right well, that's now. That's still a secret. Still a secret. Uh, we still have a few seconds left. Uh, would you uh, take the time you need to tell our viewers about how they can sign up online, yes. uh, how they can get the information they need to participate in the events that haven't been finished. Absolutely. I, I hope people will participate. There's a lot going on this week. And you can do 24-7. You can register online at IntegrisOK.com. Just look up, look up whatever program you want and register. There's no charge for Women's Health Forum except for the luncheons, and then we charge $10 for the cost of the lunch. Um, I did want to mention also Dr. Krishna is speaking this year. You know, he's a big mind-body person, and he's speaking on enhancing your happiness as well. So that still has some seats available. And what are you doing? Well, I have spoken on my book, Fight Fatigue. I've done the No Boys Allowed on Friday, and this coming Thursday I'll be doing a program uh, with uh, a couple of other people, Rebecca Mild, and um, about what your children are asking about sex. We do this program called On Your Own about how to be healthy, how to say no, why abstinence is the only way to absolutely avoid sexually transmitted diseases. So we decided to do a web chat and let parents come in and ask their questions about when and how do you speak with your children about these very important topics. Marianne, thanks so much for coming. I've got to interrupt to close this segment down. We really do appreciate you coming back again this year. Come back next year, will you, if not before? My pleasure, I will. Thank okay, you, Ken. thank you. We've been watching uh, and listening to Mary Ann Bowman. You're watching The Verdict. I'll be right back. The good life comes naturally to Tulsa, where nature's beauty is matched with an eye for aesthetics. 
legacy of neighborhoods graced with lawns and landscaping and handsome homes. A place that seems to have patented an ideal lifestyle. Bank First is loyal to the quality of life Tulsa assures its citizens, to the priority placed on education, culture, and growth. Loyal to builders who transform raw land into residential charm. Developers who see opportunity and add vitality to Tulsa's economy. Bank First serves both enterprise and private lives that need a loyal partner. That's how we help nurture this city's very good life. Bank First. Loyal to Oklahoma. Loyal to you. Three o'clock. Where do your kids go? When I was nine, my mom had to work two full-time jobs. She didn't get home till 11. The streets were there, but for my sake, so was the Boys and Girls Club. A positive place for kids and our second home every day after school. Eddie Rodriguez ran the Boys and Girls Club in my neighborhood. Today, there are 3,000 Boys and Girls Clubs where caring people like Eddie help our children succeed. Does it work? It did for me. Support the Boys and Girls Clubs, the positive place for kids. Sometimes words change and people can't see them. Letters get mixed up. Pages are difficult to turn. We can help at the Oklahoma Library for the Blind and Physically Handicapped. We mail free books on tape to Oklahomans who can't read regular print because of vision, learning, or physical disabilities. Make every word count. Call the Oklahoma Library for the Blind and Physically Handicapped at 800-523-0288. Welcome back. Kent Myers is flying solo today for the last time, I promise, at least in, uh, uh, that's my expectation. Uh, we were really pleased to have Marianne Bowman visit with us today about the Women's Health Forum. It's in its 20th year. We'll get her back when it's ready for 21 and keep you um, uh, informed about it. Insofar as her website is concerned, you see it. It's integrisok.com and the phone number is 888-951-2277. Uh, be sure and check in with that to see how you register and attend the remaining events. Uh, insofar as this show is concerned, we hope you'll look at our website, theverdict.tv. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you'd like to see. And we'll do our best to accommodate you as we uh, always want to know uh, that we're putting on the air what you want to hear about. Uh, on behalf of my partner, uh, Mick Cornett, who will be here next week, thank you for watching us. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week on The Verdict. The preceding program was produced by the Production Services Group at Cox Communications, exclusively for the Cox Channel.